Dong Yuan was primarily active during the reign of Li Jing, the ruler of Southern Tang, approximately between 930 and 960 AD. He is hailed as the pioneering master of the Southern School of Landscape Painting. Jing Hao and Dong Yuan, one from the north and the other from the south, were both trailblazers in their own right. Jing Hao, based in the Taihang Mountains of the north, predominantly depicted towering mountains, hence his preference for vertical scrolls. Dong Yuan, on the other hand, resided in the Jiangnan region, living amidst rivers and lakes, which led him to emphasize water in his works, often presented in horizontal scrolls. Following these two luminaries, the lineage of landscape painting began to establish formal schools, traditions, and inheritances. The monumental works of Jing and Dong were frequently emulated by subsequent generations. True depiction was the essence of both Jing and Dong. Even when Jing Hao constructed idealized landscapes, it was rooted in his daily communion with real mountains and waters. He selected elements from nature through the discerning eyes of an artist, transitioning from real landscapes to painted ones, representing the artist's journey from perception to expression. The landscapes in Dong Yuan's paintings, with misty mountains emerging and receding like dragons, are true-to-life depictions of the Jiangnan region. As the calligrapher Mi Fu once appraised, brooks and fishing villages, islets and banks, all concealed and revealed, encapsulate the essence of Jiangnan. Dong Yuan's artistry lies in the delicate balance between ink and color, presenting an aesthetic tension in the transitional realm of subtle coloring. In his use of ink, he mastered the nuance of varying depths, where the charm emerges from the natural diffusion of ink. Ink is apt for expressing emotions and creating ambience. From the outset, Dong Yuan captured the essence of expressive intent as championed by the Tang Dynasty poet Wang Wei. Beyond the Zen realm, he added a touch of understated elegance. In Dong Yuan's brush and ink, there's a lingering influence of the imperial landscape style, combined with the noble demeanor of the court. His color palette traces back to the Tang Dynasty's opulent landscapes, but with the emerging influence of ink and wash shadows. Applying a hint of green to his ink, he treaded softly between the realms of ink and muted green, demonstrating a more liberated mastery over color, presenting the imperial green in a more exquisite manner. His landscapes neither conveyed the opulence of the golden green grandeur, nor depicted the precipitous waterfalls reserved for the lofty hermits. Instead, they portrayed places suitable for living, fishing, woodcutting, farming, and reading, reminiscent of the idyllic peach blossom spring with an ordinary heart. Dong Yuan's works are neither towering nor sharp-edged. Through the aesthetic dimension of pure tranquility, he transformed the rich greens into subtle shades, quietly revolutionizing the golden green landscapes. Before people could marvel at his monumental contributions, he seamlessly merged the worlds of literati and royalty. Amidst their congenial exchanges, he captured the true hues of the misty Jiangnan region. Amidst the ink, he introduced a hint of muted green, paving the way for the mood and ambience of subtle coloring in Chinese literati painting.